Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Shaq is with us, Stevie as well as Gab. Gab, the first question is about your opening to Extra Time. Uh, when you're bopping to the Extra Time music, are you enjoying it or just going along with it? Is there another track you'd prefer? Ooh, that's a good question. I, I, are you asking me because I'm, I'm allowed to pick my own music? Yeah, why not? You can pick your own music. I don't know your music taste, actually, Gab. I would probably go with with some sort of uh, some sort of classic rock, maybe a little bit of a bit of Steppenwolf, something like that. Oh, there you go. Just something you that's a bit of a even a more incongruous uh, than yeah. uh, than this boppy music. Ah, uh, okay. Who did he say? Hmm. Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf. Yes. Never heard of it. There we go. There we are. That's a surprise. <laughs> They're quite old as well. They're quite old, aren't they? It's not like it's a new band. Oh, it's a band. It's one guy. <laughs> They're, right, so me, that's why it's called on. classic rock. Yeah, yeah, Stevie. <laughs> yeah, take that. <laughs> <laughs> Gab, you said Olympiakos in a really cool way during the show. Say it again. Olympiakos. Oh, Olympiakos. Uh, so, hey, that's, that's good. Yeah, go on, Gab. It's something I, I picked up from the many Greek people I know. Greece, Greeks, of course, being our, our, our cousins from just across the sea. So, um, I, I like to sound like I'm pronounced. I'm, I guess I'm channeling my inner Derek Ray uh, yeah. in calling them Olympiakos. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure that's what Olymp Derek would call them. Olympiakos. Olympiakos. Well, that's quite cool. I like that. Stevie, who is the best defender in the world? And why is it Lauter and no, Why is it Martina? <laughs> Not Lauter and Martina, the other Martina. <laughs> I'm trying to think who's been better than Saliba. I mean, Saliba for, yep. me. Saliba, for me, has played with a cigar in his mouth the whole season. I'd say he's had a good season. Rudiger's been excellent. Was... Rudiger's been fantastic, hasn't he? Yes. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with Rudiger. Would you play him before Saliba, though? I don't think so. No, I think I'll go with Saliba. Yeah? I, 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 I don't remember him making a mistake. I remember him making clearance. He's been in great positions. I can see him recovering for people around him. To speak to Deshaun. Say, wait, did he? Yeah, I, yeah. I did would, he? I would probably. Did he? Probably <laughs> go with Saliba. Yeah. Uh, who would you say, Gab? Who is the best defender in the world? Well, you're talking central defenders, obviously. Um, I think Saliba would definitely be out there. Rudiger's had a. Phenomenal season. Obviously, if you're going to project forward, uh, who's got the brighter future? It's definitely Saliba because he's uh, he's a lot younger. Would you like to throw in your two pennies, Shaka? No. OK. Uh, for the panel, with all these big clubs in need of a manager, why isn't Edin Terzic on any of the lists? He has players from Chelsea and United starting wow. in the Champions League final. Am I missing something? You are right, Gav? What's happened? Yes. Watch the Bundesliga. It's on ESPN+. Plus. <clears throat> yes. Watch. Listen to Mats Hummels. I, there's so oh. many reasons. Edin Turchich is a guy who was an assistant. He'd be bounced around. Uh, you know, he took over mid-season, did okay. Everybody likes him. But Borussia Dortmund have been pretty horrendous, not just this season, um, but last season as well. There's serious issues there. And I think Turchich is has been part of the problem. Um, did they go on a phenomenal cup run? Deservedly so, reaching the final? Of course they did. And then so tip hat to Edin Turcic. But I, Stevie, uh, Shaka, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, the way you judge a manager's bread and butter is consistency uh, in the league. And in the last couple of seasons, he's had the, the second highest wage bill in, in the Bundesliga. And you saw where that got him this year. I have assigned Edin Terzic. Uh shirt at my desk did you send in this question is that is no that... that's when i interviewed him he gave me a signed shirt oh. very kind wasn't it i gave him one of mine a manager <laughs> giving you said... sorry sorry well you've never said, said anything sorry, bad what about kind of a it? weirdo manager <laughs> it was what, 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 no it's probably their pr team but he didn't, he didn't think oh shirt. i just give him a shirt no it's the pr team afterwards because i did such a good job with the interview they wanted to thank me oh so yeah they're going to sign and sign this story is changing as we go along turchich on the back uh, no, no, it Did was it just a Turchins generic Borussia Dortmund shirt. Yeah. 
And it was the, the I interviewed oh. the, the captain. And then he took there. a sharpie and Emery Chan. Emery Chan signed it, signed as well because I interviewed him brilliantly as well. <laughs> oh, thank, you. Now, there's a <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Uh, Gab, do you think Paolo Fonseca is a good hire for Milan? I think so. I think he's a really good hire for, for, uh, for Milan. Um, so I did like the other guys they were linked with, Sergio Conceição and Lopetegui. Uh, obviously, there's uh, Uncle George's uh, fingerprints are all over them. I don't think that's what Milan need. Uh, right now, uh, Paolo Fonseca very much his own man. I think he, I think he got a raw deal uh, in some ways uh, at Roma. Obviously, had to go change in uh, change in manager at Lille in difficult conditions. Um, obviously, nearly got them into the Champions League. May yet get them into uh, in, 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 into the Champions League. I believe uh, they just have to go through the, the the playoffs. Well, except it won't be him because he's going to Milan. But. He's got the right ideas. He's got a winning pedigree, having been successful, of course, in uh, in, in Ukraine at Shakhtar Donetsk, um, and has already coached in Italy, and I think coached well, as I said. So, yeah, no, I'm I'm Team Fonseca, and if he has a solid club behind him, which which mean and I think are certainly more so than the Roma side he coached, um, I think he can do he can do well. Yeah, he's no Edin Terzic, though, is he? Uh, for Stevie, of all the trophies yeah. you won in your career, looking back, which one meant the most to you? Oh, we know this, don't we? We know the answer to this, Jack. Yeah. US Open Cup. <laughs> yeah. You see what the world's open, mind, <laughs> Yeah, I'd have to go with the uh, 89 Cup final. 89 Cup final after, against... After Hillsborough, yeah. Against Everton. Yeah. Incredible game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We... Which you were lucky not to get sent off in. Possibly. Yes. Possibly. Bit naughty. What did you do? I had to swing it someday, but fortunately I missed. Who <laughs> <laughs> oh. was it? It was the goal scorer, wasn't it? Everton when they. I was Stuart McCall, eh? Yeah, and you tried to kick him with he was like, celebrating. Like to rattle him. When he was celebrating. Do you know what though? <laughs> <clears throat> do, you know, do you know the you know the perfect miss? As he was what if he did it in slow motion, as he's walking and lifting his leg. My leg's come in here to half it in two. Right. And he just lifts it up and it goes underneath. <laughs> I mean, it was perfect timing to miss. Ah, 1989. Uh, Stephen Shaka, would you have ever considered playing for your arch rivals during your playing days? They've cited Everton and Sunderland. How much money would you have made, uh, would make you consider switching? What would have been worse, playing for Everton or playing for Manchester United? Oh, pfft. Man United. Right, so let's put... Let's oh, that, put wouldn't, that wouldn't have put them. Never. You, no, no matter what money they offered you, you would ne not go to United. No, that wouldn't happen. No. Everton's a different ball game. A lot of there's a lot of players have gone from Liverpool to Everton. Right. Not so many the other way around, but I mean Peter Beardsley that I played with went yes. straight to Everton. Yeah. Gary Ablett straight mm -hmm. to Everton. Yeah. Kevin Sheedy straight to Everton. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not frowned upon well, in any sort of way close to going to Man United. Right. Goal. Because that did Michael Owen in, yeah? Yeah, I would say, I would certainly have had to think about it. And I would, uh, right now, I would probably have said, probably not. But then, it's not a 100% not. As someone who grew up as a Rangers support, I'm going to take it off on tangent here, would you have had a problem playing for Celtic? Yeah. Really? Yeah, similar. It's a similar thing to Man United. You would never Liverpool. do? No. No? No, I don't, I can't, no. Even when you were at air? And Celtic come knocking. Ooh. That's a tester. That's a tester. If I played for Rangers, there's absolutely no way I would ever have gone to Celtic. No, but that's not the question. Well, it kind of is because I played for Liverpool. That's why Everton's. No, but I'm saying when you. No, but when you're at air. Well, that's why I'm saying that's a different question. That's a different well, ball yes, game. Yeah. That's, that's a tester. I thought you meant from Rangers to Celtic the same way that you meant no, from Liverpool. No, 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 I didn't mean Everton. that. I meant, I know you're a Rangers fan. Yeah. Would you, would would you have a problem playing have, for Celtic? I actually would have to say, at that particular time, I don't think I would have. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What about you, Shaq? Would you have a problem playing for Sunderland? No. No. Lee Clark played for Lee Clark, went from Newcastle, played for Sunderland, Steve Harper. Another goalkeeper played for Sunderland. 
No, not as big an issue as clearly Liverpool. I, I, I'll, I guess I'll liken it to Liverpool Everton. Right. Liverpool Manchester United City there doesn't seem to be that sentiment. Final question for you, Shay. It's not a particularly nice question. That's all right. It's nothing to do with me. Start, bench, or drop? No, these. No. <laughs> yeah, these. <laughs> I don't know your names and I hate it already. Uh, the, uh, these goals Gerard in the FA Cup final. Uh -huh. Ronaldo's first goal. Ronaldo, of course, scored his first goal against yeah. you in the Premier League. Or the tie goal from Bolton Wanderers in 1995, okay. Defratus to equalise. I don't yeah. know about that one. That was the uh, 95 playoff final. Right. We were two up. You were playing for Reading? Playing for Reading. We were two up. And, um, yeah, and, and, and Bolton scored. I think, this, the, I think the second goal was in the 86th minute to take it into extra time, and then they beat us in extra time. Was it your fault? No, I don't think so. Right. Um, no. But it hurt. I mean, we, within touching distance. Yeah, playoff final, yeah. Um, so what 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 what's what do I start? So which, one... if you could get rid of one of those moments in your career, which one would you get rid of first? Gerard. Gerard? Yeah. Yeah, FA Cup final. What were the other two? So Ronaldo's first guy, that's not too oh, bad, yeah, is it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll keep that and then the Defratus one yeah, is on the yeah, bench. Yeah, I'd get rid of Der Gerard for this. Three to second and no that. Yeah, there you are, that's it. Uh, we are done. That brings us to the end of today's show. Thank you very much, Gab. Thank you as always uh, for your questions. Just a reminder, we're with you uh, throughout the summer. Be sure to join us, Jurgen Klinsman and Craig with us tomorrow as we reflect on Tottenham Hotspur's season and where Ange Postacoglu ranks in the power rankings of that. <laughs> <laughs>